Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel, where I share with you all the juicy gossip, the hottest trends, and the most amazing secrets of the stars. Today, we're diving into a tale of royal intrigue that's shaking the very foundations of the monarchy. In our latest episode, we unravel the mystery behind the leaked schedule of King Charles, a document that found its way to the media's hands under the most dramatic of circumstances. Was it Prince Harry who spilled the royal beans? And why has the monarch refused to meet him for over a month? Stay tuned as we piece together this puzzle of power and family feuds. Hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, and prepare for a journey into the heart of the royal storm. Let's get started. Prince Harry has made his way to the United Kingdom for a fleeting visit, primarily to attend a significant event commemorating the decade-long journey of the Invictus Games. This special ceremony is set to take place in the capital city, London. Despite widespread conjecture, Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, along with their children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet, have not accompanied him. As Prince Harry touched down on British soil, he took the unexpected step of publicly sharing his itinerary. In a surprising move, he announced that he would not be engaging with his father, King Charles, citing the King's packed schedule as the reason. A spokesperson for the Sussex family stated, Regrettably, it will not be feasible due to His Majesty's full agenda. They added, the Duke certainly understands his father's calendar of engagements and other pressing matters and looks forward to a future opportunity to meet. Later, at a London event, Prince Harry revealed his plans to dine with a close associate, Guy Monson, later in the evening. He informed the attendees, We're scheduled to have dinner at his residence, so he'll surely be present. This deliberate disclosure of his plans by Prince Harry is interpreted by a royal analyst as a strategic move to convey a message to his distant relatives. The message seems to be that he is occupied with his own commitments and is not seeking to alter his busy timetable to make room for family engagements. The royal expert elaborated, I believe that Harry has become quite adept at managing his public communications. He is well aware that every word he utters will be meticulously scrutinized by both the media and the public, as we are doing at this moment. They continued, Hence, it's highly unlikely that the mention of his dinner plans was a mere oversight. It appears to be a calculated gesture, possibly aimed at signaling to his father or Meghan his self-reliance, or perhaps it's a broader statement to the public, underscoring his industrious and engaged lifestyle. This act of openly laying out his schedule is seen as Prince Harry's way of asserting his independence and focusing on his professional life, rather than prioritizing family reconciliation during his short stay in the UK. Prince Harry's recent avoidance of a family meeting in the UK follows his previous statements about intending to visit his father, King Charles. This comes after an urgent trip in February due to the King's cancer diagnosis becoming known. During that visit, Prince Harry met with his father, stayed overnight in London, and then returned to Los Angeles. He expressed to his desire to come back to the UK soon, mentioning other planned trips that would give him opportunities to see his family. After his solitary UK trip focused on the Invictus Games, Prince Harry has now arrived in Nigeria with Meghan Markle for a short visit. The couple has embarked on a three-day tour of Nigeria having met up at Heathrow Airport where Meghan, arriving from Los Angeles, awaited Prince Harry in the VIP Windsor suite. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were sat in first class and were kept apart from other passengers by a curtain. When they arrived in Abuja, other travelers were held back as they were escorted off the plane. Nigerian officials met them at Abuja, where they were taken out of a side door onto the jetty and into a waiting minibus. The trip comes after Harry made a brief visit to London, where he did not reunite with the royal family. Harry made the trip alone as Meghan decided to remain at their home in America. Thank you so much for watching, my lovely fans. You are the best. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notifications. 
I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.